Hello guys, welcome to GTP Business Tech View, another episode. In this episode, I'll show you uh, actually how you can install uh, BMR Power CLI. So I'll show you how you can install the BMR Power CLI uh, in, in a Windows machine. All right, so uh, I have a doc, complete documents actually how to install the BMR Power CLI and I'll share all those commands video description box. To download the offline version is really like tricky. You have to down, click here and there and download, it takes time and installation. So that's why to minimize all those stuff, like all those hassle, then you can just directly go through the online installation. That's pretty easy. Um, and, and, and you can just run a couple of commands. That's it, nothing else. So let's, let's do it. Um, so on your search bar, you can just need to type power, PowerShell. Uh, PowerShell, this one. Then just right click on it, run as an administrator. And then, yes. So I'm running from my jam machine. I'm going to install power, um, BMR Power CLI on my jam machine. So which version you are installing? That's another thing. So when you install the uh, through online, so whenever you are installing and running that command, it's gonna take the latest current version. All right, so we can start the command. So the first command you're gonna run this one. Install hyphen module and then space hyphen name space bmr dot power CLN. You can type it or you can just copy and paste and hit enter. And you have to wait. So now it's asking you, now it's asking you like uh, partial record provider, this, this version, whatever information is. It says yes, no, or suspended. So actually we are trying to do it, right? So you have to say yes. But before I do this, yes, I forget to show you another thing. So on your machine, the machine you are installing the power CLI, um, VMware power CLI, in that machine, just open the uh, file explorer Right click here, file explorer. Actually, I supposed to show you like in the beginning, but I forget to show you. So I'm showing you right now because I didn't start the installation yet. Um, so if you go to the my, this computer, which is my computer, and then go to the C drive, and then from the C drive, um, go to the program files, and then all the way down, you're gonna see the uh, Windows PowerShell. Basically, inside the PowerShell, you are adding some modules. Uh, so you are adding modules for what? For VMware Power CLI. So it's with the same Power PowerShell is gonna be VMware Power CLI if you run those command. And and also it will make some change inside here. So under the Windows PowerShell, and go to the modules. And you're gonna see here some like couple of modules here. One, two, three, four, five. By default, is total five here through the windows. But whenever you install the Beamer Power CLI, you're gonna see a lot more folder here. So we're gonna see actually how it's how it's gonna be increased. So let's say yes. Okay, now it's down, it's it's downloading and it's gonna installing. So you're gonna see quickly here, like maybe you can just see side by side here. I'm just going to, okay. And then it's asking me, are you, uh, you are installing the module from an untrust, untrusted repository, whatever it is, I want it. So just say, just say yes to all. And then, okay, let me make it a little bit smaller than, you can have a clear view of this one, of this folder. So that's how you can see actually how the folder is increasing. You're gonna see like, there will be a lot of folders gonna become here. And this, this one will take time because it's installing, it's just going outside in uh, like internet and then it's downloading the file and installing the file 
is copying the file to your module, um, PowerShell module for here. You see here, it's working. So if you follow this one exactly, you'll be able to do the Power CLI. You see here, it's downloading here, and the, at the same time, like you can see here, the folder is increasing here. You see? So it's gonna take time, you have to wait. This is the online installation. All right, so it shows it's downloading, but it should be showing you like it's finished. But whenever it's a long time, you're gonna see it's completed and completed. Then you, what you can do, just control C. And then you can run another command. I can explain you here to install the PowerCellar module for all users on this command. So we just ran the first command, which is this one, install module hyphen name, VMware PowerCLA, right? So this one is installed a lot of things, a lot of modules here, you see? We had only five modules before, right? When we start, but now it's all, it's a lot. You cannot like, I cannot finish with counting. So let's run the second command, which is on this one, up to here. So don't worry, I'll share the um, command in the description box, hit enter. So then it's gonna, again, is maybe the some, if there's any some modules is missing, it's gonna download the modules. So you just have to wait until it's finished. So after running the second command, I wait a long time, long time, and then it started. So the time I was waiting, at that time I just paused the video, so that's why uh, you, you're not gonna feel like it's take a long time, but actually it's take a long time. I just waited. So now after a long time, long time means like almost 15 minutes maybe. After 15 minutes, it started. So it, that that can also be it can, it can be happen. So just wait. You see it's installing. So it's adding more files here. Now right it shows this, so it's completed and then just to get back the command line. So you can say control C and you can get back. Okay. So now we're gonna see uh, like the third command which is get partial CLI version just to check which version is installed. Just copy this command and hit enter to run. Okay. So whenever you see something like this, you just need to run this command. Actually, the command is there, but I have the same thing here. You see, set false. So you need to run this command, the fourth command. Copy. True or false. That's what you need to run, this command. So I'm running this one. It's already told you like actually which version is installed. It's 13.3, .3. build number this is installed. This one is installed right now. So I'm gonna run this one, the exactly same one is here, the command. So instead of two, I'm running as a false. Hit enter and then say used to all and it's done. Now any, every time, whenever you check, you can see it now. So now PowerShell is already installed and it's already connected. Is it connected? No, it's not connected. It's not connected to the server, right? PowerCLA. Okay. So the right now, I mean my jump machine, the PowerCLA is installed. So now if I want to connect my um, B center here. How I can prove my PowerShell is working, my VMware uh, Power CLA. Actually, I'm running the command in PowerShell uh, IIC, but but actually this one now is gonna work as a VMware Power CLA because I installed the online version here. All, all the modules is installed. So how how I can prove actually VMware Power CLA is working here? So we can run the command to check it. Um, so you can just say first connect, connect server. 
okay let's see we can connect it or not connect and then i already have a space okay and then your be center name so what is your be center name in my case my be center name is just give one second let me open what i have already here i can just copy from here okay this is my be center actually so this is my be center name so what is the be center name you just need to paste it here and then hit enter and then it will ask you for username and password to log in but if your user is already the, the user you used to log into this jump machine and if that is if that user has access in a b center in that case you don't need to you don't need to fill up here because it's a single sign on right so for single sign on you don't need to use it but right now the bm uh, b center i'm using that one is not integrated with the um, in not integrated with the domain that's why no, not domain is like a directory that's why i have to provide the username and password so which is i can say the local one administrator at bsp.local and provide the password I hit enter all right uh okay, enter. okay. error in very server certificate set okay so it says signature certificate issues right okay so before you run base center you have to run this command that's why it's showing this certificate issues so invalid certificate so if you face this oh that's good i face this one that's good uh, i'm able to see show you actually what is the error and if you face this error what command you need to run so you have to run this command ignore and you say use to all and and now you can run it again this command hit enter then it will ask you again for providing the credential or i don't know maybe oh no i have to run it again and i am oh, sorry am i am I have to your administrator add If your business is integrated with the Active Directory, in that case, you can use Active Directory user. All right, so I logged in. Now I can just, for testing, I can run some command. You can say uh, get hyphen BM. So it's gonna give you all the BM list here. You see, whatever the BM I have, it's giving me the total list. So if I want to know get BM host, Hit enter. It will give you the all the host name and also how many CPU, how many cores it's using. Everything is it, it will provide you. So this is how you can use um, BMR Power CLI. So it's pretty simple. Just a couple of command. So basically, first you have to run four command, and then uh, if you want to test your base center connections before you do the connect base center, make sure you run this command. And then connect the center and provide the credential. And also, you have to provide your center name. And then, whatever the um, command like um, you want to know, like you, need, you, you want to know the network, so you also know the BM, so you also know the host name. So, everything you can find out through the command. So, it means that this one, this, this proved that uh, my BMR Power CLI is implemented successfully. And that's all. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And if you think this video is helpful for you, please give a big thumbs up and make some comments to, to encourage me to make more video for you guys. And if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in another video.